Hey there everybody, it is Bree and you can see I got some of my stitches out. Um, so I just went to go get out, um, as I thought I was going to get out all of my stitches, I got out some. Um, the reason that being this area right here is not ready to be, um, to have my stitches removed. And, um, so you know, this area going down was good. What they did, they glued it for now. Um, we got Kylie here. Kylie and Ace laying on the couch. Um, they had just fallen off the couch. Look at Ace's. Ace. Ace. Say what up to the people. What up? What up? Say hi. Say my name's Kylie. My name's Kylie. Is your tongue red? Yeah, our tongue's red. We went, we had to stop at the bank. Um, because I had cashed some, uh, some checks, and uh, they gave her a lollipop, which is great. How many of you remember going to the bank and, you know, you'd be a little kid in the car and you'd get a lollipop, and you'd be like, oh my god, thank you. Ace, don't chew on that. Don't let him chew on that. But, um, so, with the stitches being removed, god, that hurt so bad. So bad. Um... You know, at first when they were, they, they cleaned it very, very good with um, alcohol pads and, oh, God, that burned. But, um, you know, I got through it. And then they said, okay, you ready? And I said, yep, nobody was holding my hand, you know, and um, just sat there, leaned back. I had back. stitches when I was a baby. Yeah, you did have stitches when you were a baby, but, you know, you didn't really remember that. This I'm gonna crying? remember. What was I crying? I don't know. I didn't see when you were, when you were crying. What are you doing? <laughs> She's rearranging her ice pack on her back because she fell off the couch. If I didn't mention that, um, <laughs> which was kind of funny. Um, but you keep saying the same thing. Are you that on? No, I'm not. Anyway. No. Yeah. But anyways, um, anywho, those, uh. So they said, you know, you ready? And they cleaned it. What is he doing? Ace. 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 What are you doing? What? Are you doing? what? I'm trying to sit on the couch. This couch we actually got from my grandmother's. That's why it looks like, you know, flowery. I, we don't really like it, but you know, she gave it to us, and we'll get rid of it one day. Um. Are you good? You were just having some fun? Yeah? And there's Kylie, but um... So, now with the stitches, you know, alcohol pads, and then they had taken this, this thing to roll over it, yeah. but... They had taken this thing to roll over it, to, you know, dry, like, dry it up. It's glue. Uh, I'm not there yet, and um... That hurt. Let me tell you and that hurt. Oh, and, and um, this is how you so you know they cut they cut it down. You know they're pulling out the stitches. I was like, you know, just breathing in and out. Who did that hurt? I didn't show it, but oh my gosh, they were like, wow, you were really strong about that. You didn't even twitch. Please, in my mind, I was like screaming bloody murder, but um. You know, it, I'm done, and then what they did, they had put glue on it, you can see, super glue. So, I'm super glued up, and I got more stitches, and I'm breaking out with acne, and that's the joy of being a teenager. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was going to be a good process, and, you know, they were, they were talking about uh, long-term things, if I wanted to back in the couch again if I wanted to get plastic yeah, surgery right. that's not gonna be until no, six to nine months down the road but you know my mom was like oh yeah she's gonna need plastic surgery you know she's telling everybody that already I really you know here's my dilemma um, I, I went through this you know and I don't want to go through anymore if it scars it scars if it scars it scars um, you know, I'm going to try my best to 
remove the scar as much as I can with like using vitamin E and everything. You, you guys suggested a whole bunch of stuff to me, which is, I, I cannot thank you enough. You know, I'm definitely going to try every single product that you guys, you know, have told me. And, um, you know, I'm going to try to heal the scar by myself. You know, if it doesn't disappear all the way, so be it. You know, I have many, many scars on my body from being a kid and whatnot. You know, you know how you are when you're a little kid, you're outside playing, you know, you fall off the slide or something, you know, cut your leg. Um, you know, but as for getting plastic surgery because your face muscles, your face muscles go this, like this way on your face. And um, with the cut going up, it's going against the face muscles. It's like a piece of steak. You got to cut against the grain. Um, I, however, I'm not cutting against the grain. And, um, it's, they, what they want to do if I want, if I don't like the scar, if there's still a scar, they're going to take it and flip it so it's aligned with my face muscles. I'm not doing that. No, thank you. But, you know, it's, it's all right. You know, if it scars, it scars. I don't care if it's on my face. You know, it's just, it's a, what do I always say? I say scars are better than tattoos. They have a story, a better story than a tattoo behind it. Because what are you gonna, like a tattoo, oh yeah, I went to this tattoo shop and got this done because it means something to me or it looks cool. A scar, you know, yeah, it has a story behind it. You have a, you know, what happened, what you went through, your process, how you how you reacted, you know, that's, that's with you for the rest of your life. And that's what I always say about scars. So any of you who have a scar out there, go with that and say, you know, I don't need a tattoo, I've got a scar. Um, but obviously when I get older I'm going to get tattoos, but you know, not all over my body, but a few meaningful tattoos. But you know, this, I'm looking at it, a scar, whatever, it scars, it scars, and you know, that's what you gotta, you, you gotta go for the best, you know? Um, and be positive about everything. If, you know, I gotta live with this for the rest of my life and I'm taking it so, so good, greatly, you know? And that's what you all need to do if, you know, an accident happens or, you know, you're in a breakup or something, you get fired from your job, you know, look at it and say, you know, I'm a better person, I'm going to I'm going to get another job or I'm going to get another boyfriend or girlfriend and the phone is ringing so that leaves me off with you guys. I love you and um, tweet me. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.